Chapter 207. She must accept red envelopes. Jia Yishan was playing the role of Empress Morong. She was dressed in a phoenix robe and wore a laurel crown on her head. It was very grand. The side effect was that her neck hurt from being pressed down. Often, after a scene, she had to move her shin bones. Fortunately, the shooting season was in winter. If it was in summer, it would really be unbearable. During the intermission, she could finally reply to WeChat messages while leaning on the recliner. However, after not looking at her phone for a long time, her WeChat messages were full. Liang Kioan, who had always liked to talk back to her over the phone, sent her a WeChat message. Liang Kioan, I'm in a meeting. Liang Kioan, I'm still in a meeting. Liang Kioan, I'm going to throw up in the meeting. It's been almost five hours. Today, President Xiang is still holding the meeting personally. Liang Qian. Oh my god. President Xiang found out about Xiao Ying and personally ordered her to be fired. Her leaders were all reprimanded. Our CEO Xiang is really approachable. He even personally handled such a small matter. Liang Qian. President Xiang even said that you've been wronged. You don't blame the company because you're magnanimous and sensible. The company will focus on nurturing you. Liang Qian. Even I suspect that President Xiong doesn't know you. Is he your little friend? Lovers, admirer. Shai Shan was speechless. She sent Liang Qian an emoji that said, Young man, you're thinking too much. Hurry up and go to bed. Jia Yishan then opened WeChat. When she saw the message from Su Yuji, she was speechless. Su Yuji, dad.jpg, Su Yuji, red packet, Su Yuji. Sister Shen, if anyone in the company dares to bully you, just tell me, don't compromise. Su Yuji, red packet, tilde tilde, I'm sorry. I sincerely apologize to you. Su Yuji, red envelope. Tilde, it's my fault for not disciplining him well. Su Yuji, red packet tilde tilde, I apologize to you on their behalf. Su Yuji, red packets, tilde red packets represent my sincerity. Forgive me and accept them. Jia Yishan was speechless. Nowadays, there were still people who came to her door and insisted that she accept red packets. Shite was also very difficult. Forget it. I'll forgive him. Jia Yishan clicked on the red packets. Su Yuji. Daddy, you're finally online. Shai Shan. He called her daddy. Where did he get the confidence and courage to be so thick skin? Jia Yishan. Did you offend Mr. Swagan? Su Yuji. Little Shanshan knows me. Jia Yishan. What happened? Su Yuji. It's all because of you. Mr. Su only found out that something had happened to you after he returned to the country. He was very angry. One almost couldn't bear his anger. He even asked the entire Hornia to reform. Oh, 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 he scared me to death. Jia Yishan. Isn't that a little exaggerated? Su Yuji. No, little Shanshan. Best that to Su cares about you more than one thought. The company will send a new assistant to take care of you soon. Don't refuse. Shai Shan. New assistant. Jia Yishan felt a chill run down her spine. Another assistant. She had lived her lives and thought that she had seen through many people. Xiao Ying looked like an honest child at first glance, but she did not expect that she would bite her back. If she had not been so vigilant, she would have fallen for their trap long ago. If there was another assistant, would she still have to guard against him like a thief? Su Yuji. Don't worry. The people who sent people this time are all reliable. Sister Shen. If you're not satisfied, you can change them at any time. It'll be the first to look for you on set tomorrow. Jia Yishan. Thank you so much. Su Yuji don't be polite. It should be. If he didn't do this well, he wouldn't have a good life anymore.